It's hot, I'm tired, I'm sweaty, probably stink. Hello, boys and girls. Mr. and Mrs. Two Wheeler back after a little time off. We took a little time off during the summer. We don't do much riding. One, it's way too hot. Two, we got the kids at home. They have their summer break, so we spend the time with them as much as we can. And um, not so much on the bike. But they're back in school. It is Labor Day weekend. So this is our first ride literally our first ride we haven't on the been on the bike in months so today what we're doing is an iron butt ss 1000 which is a saddle sore 1000 a saddle sore 1000 is basically a thousand miles in under 24 hours i'm not going to be doing a lot of video recording this Pretty much just going to be boring highway. Um, maybe we'll record a little on the stops. But for the most part, this is just a challenge that me and Nina have been wanting to do for a while. Um, we were supposed to do this at midnight last night with a group. And they actually ended up canceling it due to the weather. It was pretty stormy all across the state. Our starting point is in Weston. It's actually at the Rick Case motorcycle dealership where I purchased this bike and uh, have a lot of friends there. So my good friend Scott, who happens also to be my mechanic, he helps me take care of the bike, maintain it, and do anything major that I can't do on my own. So he's my witness for my starting point. Now I'm using a software called Bubbler GPS, which pretty much tracks your route. Um, if you look on my Facebook page, you'll be able to see a link to this ride where you were able to watch it live as we were riding. And I'm also using that for documentation purposes for the, the crew at uh, IBA, Iron Butt Association. Let them know exactly where you were, where you stopped, how long you stopped for. So I needed my phone, needless to say. Um, I don't know what happened. I guess my cable crapped out. So we ran inside the 7-Eleven there, bought one of those cheap $10 charging cables. Funny thing is I brought an extra one just in case for a situation like this. And it turns out that one wasn't working. So we ended up purchasing one plugged it into the phone, um, get on the bike, it's charging, we're about to go, I go to start the cameras, and I realized my hero session is either dead or for some reason it won't turn on. So now I got that charging, hopefully it was just a battery and it's not anything major, I was going to get a little bit of video from the front view, from the helmet, but um, that's not going to happen. So anyway, we're starting now. We have a thousand miles to do, 24 hours to do it in. So we'll check back with you later. Wish us luck. and we're officially one-third of the way we just hit 333 miles uh, we're approaching Jacksonville 
Um, we were off to a very, very rocky start. Up until about 15 or 20 minutes ago, we got dumped on. I mean dumped on. Pouring, pouring rain. At one point, we actually had to get off and take cover at a gas station. It was that bad. Um, the problem was that when we left, it was very hot. So we had all our vents open, the zippers on our suits and jackets were open. Um, we weren't wearing the waterproof gloves. And that rain caught us off guard. Guess what? We got soaked. We didn't bring any change of clothes. We didn't bring sweatshirts or anything to warm up. We didn't anticipate this. So, yeah, it, it was a rough, rough start. But um, now it looks like it cleared up a little bit. We're just past that storm. So yeah, we're approaching Jacksonville right now. We're on the I-95 North. And we only got about 14 miles till our next stop, which is our fuel stop where we have to get a receipt showing that we're turning. I did have a nightmare with the cameras. The session just wouldn't turn on no matter what I did. I tried resetting it. It just wouldn't respond. I tried charging it. It wasn't a dead battery, so I don't know what happened there. And the Hero 4 Silver, the one that's filming me there, um, had gotten a little wet in the downpour. And until now, literally until now, and I've tried several times, it would not come on. Well, as of right now, you officially ridden a thousand miles. Congratulations. Doesn't it feel good? Oh, of course, we've been wanting to do this forever. Yeah, th this is our third try, as a matter of fact. Third try. Third try. That's right. Yep, the first one was on the CBR, which is a bike not made for this. The second one was on this bike, but we hit like 20 degree temperatures in Mariana. Yep. To the point where I started shivering and couldn't continue. And there was some dense, dense fog. You remember that? Yep. Couldn't see anything. Couldn't see anything, literally. It was crazy. 
And this one, we fought through it, persisted through the storms, through all the, the obstacles in the beginning, all the malfunctions, technical difficulties. And we did it. A full thousand miles in... Let's see, I'm trying to do the math. My brain's not functioning. Five and a half hours. So 18 and a half hours it took us to do a thousand miles. Would you do it again? Maybe if I sleep before. <laughs> well, I think once you get the first one out of the way, the second one becomes easier. You know what to expect. Well, folks, this is the end of the line, so it's official now. We did 1,034 miles in under 24 hours. Now we get our final receipt as confirmation. And we will be done. Glad to be done. It's fun, it's a challenge, but it, it's rough. It takes its toll on you. I'm just gonna put a couple of bucks just to be able to get a receipt. I am beat to shit. We both are. Nina's worse off than I am. She hasn't slept good in the past two days. Not last night, not the night before. Don't mind me, I'm just grumpy. It's hot, I'm tired, I'm sweaty, probably stink. Well, we'll see you guys. Thank you for joining us. It's been a hell of a ride. Unfortunately, you weren't able to see most of it due to all the camera issues, but we got some of it. It's better than nothing. So we'll see you when we see you.